All you hear nowadays anymore is you have to eat more protein. But the truth is, eating more protein isn't the key to building more muscle. Activating MPS, the muscle building switch, twice a day is enough for 90% of your long-term results. But what happens if you do it two or three or four times a day? Is it better or just unnecessary? Let's break it down in this video and help you understand muscle protein synthesis or MPS and how your body's repair crew works and what you get for turning it on three or four times in a day. It turns on when you eat enough of the right kind of protein, especially one amino acid called leucine. In our examples, we call it the red Lego. Think of it like this. Protein is made up of 20 Lego pieces. Your body uses these pieces to build everything from muscle to enzymes to hormones to immune cells and everything else. But only one Lego, the red Lego leucine, flips the switch that turns on the MPS room. Once MPS is on, your muscle building workers show up and start using those Lego blocks to repair and rebuild stronger muscle tissue. Without enough red Legos though, about two and a half or three grams of leucine in a meal, the lights stay off. The workers never come in, no growth happens. Here's the surprising truth. You don't need to activate MPS all day long. In fact, research tells us that turning MPS on just twice a day gives you 90% of the muscle building benefits, especially when paired with strength training. Okay, here's why. After each meal with enough leucine, MPS turns on for about one and a half to three hours. The workers need to take a break. They need to recharge. Trying to spike MPS every hour is futile. So what's the best strategy? Well, flip the MPS switch on twice a day minimum is my goal and you cover 90% of the results. With meals that are spaced out three to five hours apart, that's depending on your age, three hours if you're closer to 30 or 35 years old, five hours when it's closer to 55 or 60. That's the sweet spot for compounding gains over time. Well, what about turning on three or four times in a day? Yeah, there are some small added benefits, especially for athletes, people over 50, and those aggressively building muscle. Those people I think will have a great advantage to turn it on three or four times a day. You might squeeze out an extra five or 10% gains, but it comes with a lot more effort, more planning and more calories. For the average person, it's probably a poor return on investment. Think long-term, over 20 years, someone who consistently activates MPS twice a day with enough protein and strength training will build and preserve thousands more hours of muscle repair time than someone who only hits it once a day. The power of compounding is going to win when it comes to MPS. Look at this real life example and watch these numbers. Person A gets 120 grams of protein per day, but spreads it out wrong. Breakfast, they did coffee and toast with almond butter, eight grams of protein, no MPS. Lunch, they did a salad with three ounces of chicken, 18 grams of protein, MPS, still off. Dinner, giant steak, 70 grams of protein, fine. MPS turns on, but only one time for the whole day. You had a total of 120 grams of protein for the day, but only one MPS activation. That's like having a full bucket of Legos, but never flipping the light switch on to build anything. Now take person B. They eat 100 grams of protein in three well-designed meals. Breakfast, eggs and Greek yogurt. Total, 30 grams of protein. Light switch, turns on. MPS room, turns on. mTOR is contacted, start building. Okay, next, lunch, chicken and quinoa. Mixing those two together, you get 35 grams of protein. That's enough leucine. MPS turns on, MPS fires up for the second time. Dinner, salmon and sweet potato. 35 grams of protein in the salmon, has enough leucine in it to flip the light switch on, call mTOR, start building again for the third time today. Person B had fewer grams of protein for the day, but turned on MPS three times. Person A turned it on one time a day and had more protein. So we've got to stop thinking in terms of protein all the time because they flipped the light switch on multiple times. That's where the benefits came from. You must start thinking about meal timing and stop thinking about total daily protein intake. That's what's throwing everybody. More frequent MPS activation can help offset muscle loss and improve retention. The question starts to become, can you build muscle just by eating enough protein without strength training? The answer is not really. Flipping the switch without lifting is like turning on the lights to an empty construction site. No workers show up, so nothing's going to get built. The leucine flips the light switch on, calls mTOR and says, start the workers. But strength training calls in the workers. So you need them both. You need both of those signals if you're going to maximize and optimize MPS. When you activate MPS once a day, you might get one to three hours of muscle building. Twice a day, six hours building time. Three times a day, nine hours of muscle building. Now, here's the kicker. Multiply that over 20 years. Person A, activating MPS once a day. 
That's about 7,300 hours of muscle repair. Person B, twice a day, 14,600 hours of muscle repair. Person C, activates MPS three times a day, 22,000 hours. This is why compounding matters. You don't build muscle by eating more. You build muscle by sending the right signal. Leucine flips the switch. Strength training brings the crew in. Get them working together and the results will compound for life. Mindster's here to bring clarity over chaos, one conversation at a time. If you're ready to keep going deeper, subscribe, tap the bell, and join the dialogue.